speaking, you have to kind of play on the defensive, and that's just not something we see very often with Puffs. That's what makes it such a cool play style. Yeah, big question. Are we going to see the Twitter clips that Mokia has been posting recently, like that one against the Jigglypuff that you had mentioned earlier, or will the aggressive play style of Two Saints Jigglypuff prevail? I don't know if By you guys way, and it's having like a prediction in chat. Way, but, um, We've been making the joke throughout this tournament that some of the profile pictures look like Tinder pictures. Oh, yeah, Once absolutely. It goes that, without saying. That goes without saying. Great picture of Two Saint. It looks very, very cool. And we're jumping in onto Battlefield, which is pretty much the only stage you see people start on. This is almost a given. If there's ever been a stage where you say, are we starting Battlefield? It's Fox versus Pup. Yeah, and, and fitting too, kind of, again, the, the Tri-State Classic. Like, just go to Battlefield. Why not? Shine with only a couple jumps remaining. Moki's gonna kind of convert that one right there, but n oh my gosh, he found it. He can air dodge. Oh, he just barely misses that. Wow, I thought for sure he'd get that. Goes for the up smash. If he had gone for the down smash, might have got it. But you know, I don't blame Moki for trying that. He does get the shine here for good measure and closes oh, yeah. up his pocket anyway. Took a little bit of extra damage as a result, but maybe it just takes a little bit to shake the rust off in a matchup like this. You gotta wonder how many puffs Moki has been playing in recent time that aren't hungry box. Yeah, no, I am curious to see if these two actually have practice, given that they're on the same side of the country. But, it, you know, like, so far, I'm really, really impressed with what uh, Two Saints has been pulling out. But Moki's defense has been really good, too. That platform tech that he had earlier just really, really makes it difficult to combo him. Yeah, Moki catches out of the jump right now. Back to the ledge, has to recover into stage, and Moki is all the way ready for it. Huge up smash, three stocks to two. Again, we're kind of seeing Two Saint coming at the game from behind. Moki at a percent where any stray up air, up tilt should lead to a rest, but very quickly that percent can kind of start to fade away if you get some chip damage. And already he's taken 50%. There goes the stock. Wow. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so, you know, our ears in the ground, IBW, who we were shouting out earlier, has said that they've been playing all week. So these guys are more than ready to play against each other. And that practice seems to be paying off for Moki. Like, really, really, really impressive stuff. Yeah, Two Saint kind of has to make some magic happen here. And it's not going to start with rest, especially when he's approaching that percent where he'll just trade off his stock and lose the game as a result. So he's got to win this one, honestly. Honestly, ooh, just a little bit of commentary there from Walt in terms of his views on rest, I would say. <laughs> but, oh, just barely doesn't get off stage, and this is a bad position for him. Does get a little bit of height on that, though, but that's the first game. Three stock from Moki. Like I said, kind of my favorite to win this tournament, but Two Saint, if there's ever someone who can upset him right now, Two Saint is looking hot. Yeah, we. I mean, we're gonna. I'm assuming we're gonna see the Dreamland as a counter pick here, most likely. Again, Two Saint, fairly aggressive as a Jigglypuff, but that doesn't mean the stage is not gonna be a good decision for him. Uh, you can be an aggressive Jigglypuff, but when Moki is just running you down, maybe you need to get a little bit of a break. Yeah, you know, it. It really does depend on, uh, kind of your your perspective on the match. I think we do see Dreamland is gonna be the pick. It's pretty uncommon for people not to go to Dreamland game two if they've lost. Uh, you know, we did talk before about like some sort of newer school opinions about maybe Yoshi's isn't that bad because it sets up for edge guards. Maybe Fountain isn't that bad, but I think this is a very solid pick. Yeah, and the big thing that we did not see anything of from the side of Two Saint uh, are rests. You know, I joked about it, like having to win in neutral and use your normals and everything and getting there, but. It's huge in this matchup, especially when Moki's finding conversions at 85% on Dreamland. He's killing Two Saints super early, or at least finding the conversion that leads to the kill very, very soon. I really, really like that choice to go for the Shine Stall, by the way, making it tricky for Two Saints to cover, but he was ready anyway. Goes for the reverse fair, clips him on the way down, and gets the stock, evening it up just like that. Um, so far, we haven't been seeing a lot of rest, and we also haven't been seeing a lot of Smash DI on Two Saints end. So if he is able to start mixing that up now, of course, Moki, there goes the first rest. But he's first gonna survive. one, he will recover, yeah. But plenty of time to keep advantage, and Moki actually recovers to stage, so Two Saints just gets to do it all over again. Yeah, seeing oh my really, gosh. really good DI from Moki, but still, uh, Two Saints manages to follow up, cleans up the edge guard, and this is a very solid lead.
Yeah, two recoveries in a row where Moki uh, potentially could have gotten ledge but opted against it, and that resulted in an entire stock loss. First advantage of the set going to two Saint. Let's see if Moki can turn this one around. What a mix up! Yeah, beautiful extension there. When you grab at really, really low percents as a puff, you cannot just rest there, especially on Dreamland, they're going to survive. So you go for that up air, but, you know, still surprised to see him convert that. And what can you do with this lead? Yeah, absolutely, Radar. That was what I consider as just the most one-to-one -one, uh, mind game you can ask for. He went for the up throw straight into rest on, on stock three, or stock two, rather, and then just mixes it up with the up air into the rest to straight up kill him much earlier than he probably would have expected. Yeah, it really just depends. At the certain percent, you kind of can't reliably go for the rest, like I was saying, if just because knowing it won't kill. But then it becomes a bit of a mix-up in terms of whether you opt to go for a sound or an up air, or in that case, you can just react, um, anticipating the DI and does just get the up throw arrest. Up throw arrest in general... He, stayed... <laughs> he heated my words, man. I'm sorry. It just... I said he needs to get more rest, and how many did we see there? Because he, he didn't kill with the first one, so that was at least four. Yeah, I think I think at least three for sure. He got quite a few kills. Um, for people who are saying imperfect DI, um, one of the things they got to acknowledge is that when you get grabbed by Puff, you basically have to be DIing ahead of time uh, to be able to get the DI. And even then, it looked like uh, Two Saint was reading it because he was already drifting there. And even still, like you can pretty reliably cover stuff. It depends. If you get the very perfect DI, the only thing you can do is like a literally like a frame perfect back air. It depends on the percents a lot. Sure, and we're going to see a bit of those wacky early kills that we were getting out of Moki in the counter pick Pokemon Stadium, the selection, and he's racking on damage. He's close to kill percent already. Yeah, exactly. yeah he's there. <laughs> yeah, one of the crazy things about this matchup, and I think kind of one of the main arguments for why it would still be Puff favored in a lot of people's eyes. I'm oh, sorry, Marth, uh, what the hell am I saying? Fox favored is because Fox's kind of stage advantages here are very, very strong. Pokemon Stadium, a very, very good stage for Fox. FD, very, very good stage for Fox. Yoshi's, not a bad stage for Fox. Even Dreamland, not the worst stage. So it, I'm not surprised to see uh, Stadium in particular. It's probably the best, but it really depends if you think D is better. Yeah, two Saints starting off this game immediately on the back foot. Is he going to go down two in the first minute of the game? Jeez, Moki is just on a rampage right now. Usain needs to stem the bleeding somehow, reverses the back air. That's not quite enough, and he's actually close to dying going down two. Moki with a clean lead. Um, uncharacteristic getting caught in shine there, but the reverse back air ends up saving him, like you mentioned. Oh, this is an easy 30 or 40% That's big right damage. Now. And again, kill percentage right here. Grab, maybe single pummel up throw. Yep. yep. It's the SDI. That's the first we've seen all set. Very, very important for keeping yourself alive. Um, now, Moki can play around that by mi mixing up the timing of his up airs. Oh my gosh, goes for a thing. That Probably not been. intentional. Looking for a pound, I would guess. And we're back to the. Could you focus. imagine if that's the meta now? Just sing to cover a ledge? <laughs> That'd be amazing. I really would have to imagine it because it doesn't seem very likely. <laughs> Drill to forward smash. That is not a follow-up we see very often. Um, much more common is up smash, but I think he knew it wouldn't kill there, so good stuff. Wow, yeah, huge advantage going over to Moki, a full two-stock lead. If Two Saints looking for a rest, he's gonna have to get it soon because he is running out of time to get those. Yeah, no, it's over. Like he can't, he can't go for rest anymore. Even at like uh, 30, whatever. Like you really aren't in a position to do it. Um, this is a matchup wow. where it's honestly like around like 43 or something, uh, where you can just fully charge up, smash, and kill. Um, I was a Puff main at one point, so the percents are a little fuzzy for me, but it is, it is rough. Yeah, and Moki knocking on the door of advancing to winner's semis. Two Saints going to need to win two in a row in order to swing this one back from the jaws of defeat. What does he what does he need in this situation? I mean, he, it feels like the Pokemon counterpick was just absolutely huge for Moki. Uh, was kind of just getting outplayed a little bit in neutral, but in the games where Two Saint is able to find those rests and kind of really just take the advantages and run with them, we saw a Dreamland game, you know? It was kind of like very one-sided on either side of the game. Yeah, it's tricky. This is what I mean by stages. Like right now, you get FOD, which is not 
bad for Fox. Like there was a time where people used to like talking about how FOD's feeling is really high, but like it's really not that much different from Battlefield. So sure. it's not the biggest buff to Puff. It's just Battlefield is kind of an okay stage for her. So it is an uphill battle. As for what he needs to be doing to turn things around, I think a big thing would be converting off of edge guards a bit more. That is kind of a weakness of two saints if there is one. And um, yeah, especially when he's down stocks and doesn't want to rest. For sure, getting punished right now, forced into the air dodge, and two saint potentially going to fall first, but good DI to survive there. Right, yeah, you're kind and of just... fishing on the right side. But, you know, Patient does end up getting a grab and goes for the drill, but just gets the wrong side I'm of it. I'm very interested in, in that decision, Radar, because I feel like, you know, again, I, the, the big person that we usually consider when we go to these head-to-heads is, is Hungrybox and these, uh, how he makes these move selections and everything. Uh, I feel like Hbox would just go for Rising Fair in those situations. Is there a reason for the down air? Um, I, I think it sort of depends. Like... Honestly, I kind of agree like that the fair probably would have worked. It's it got a longer hitbox. You don't need to be as precise. I think we've been seeing a lot of great rest there, by the way. Um, it does catch him without the mistech, but these are the trades we're seeing. It's we already can say that, you know, had Two Saint hit that edge guard, he'd have a full stock lead rather than being kind of trading and, and still even good DI though on the Nair. I don't know. It, it's a rough matchup to say the least. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. But Two Saint keeping it competitive here with a pretty clutch rest at early percent. Moki's gonna find the stock, and I think just the point that you had made earlier in the set radar about Two Saint not hitting his SDI on these is really just coming, becoming very, very apparent. Yeah, no. It, it, again, worth mentioning, it is very, very difficult to hit the SDI, but it's also very difficult, we said this yesterday, to hit up throw up air on Puff. It's actually surprisingly difficult timing. And if you're working on mixing up the timings, oh my gosh, the shine. He's out of jumps. One he more. gets it here. It's over. That's it. Loki takes the set. I I hope we get that on, on the Red Bull replay because that was probably the only option Moki could have gone for, and it was one of, if not the most optimal. This complete reversal of the situation. He actually finds the shine uh, with Two Saint to the left of him, so he literally just gets pseudo shine spike instead of getting hit towards the stage. There's really no opportunity for Two Saint to turn that one around. Yeah, I again, M Moki ha is my prediction for the person who I was most expecting to see in Grand Finals. Um, it, it, he's just such a capable player. I know he took to Twitter about a couple days ago, basically saying that he feels he is 